All right, I know a lot of you are like, no, not the pencil, I don't wanna use it. But look, at some point, you gotta start using it, you know? You know, that's why you're here, that's why you're watching this video and we gotta learn the pencil and we gotta use it in the correct ways because we need those crisp edges when we're cutting stuff out, I mean, like in Photoshop or you, you're an illustrator all the time and you just, you gotta have those nice, smooth lines and paths. So here is Illustrator. Uh, first thing I do before using the pen is we definitely don't want this fill. So get rid of your fill, come up here, hit none. And then the stroke color, yeah, that's great. I mean, we can put that on none, we can leave it on black. So there we go. Let's grab the good old pen tool. Don't be scared of it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click once, wherever we wanna begin. I normally like to click on a straight or flat kind of area, not a curve to begin. So here we go. Don't be afraid to zoom in. Some of you guys, you know, when you're a beginner, um, zooming in is, isn't something you're doing a whole lot. You know, well, I can do it just zoomed out like this, no. Do it the right way, zoom in, and see what you're looking like, see what it's looking like and get a better result. So click once. Now with the pen tool, you don't you just don't start clicking, okay? Um, the best way I can describe it is the next click of the mouse is where like the first curve will end. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, <clears throat> coming over right here, I see a curve beginning. So I could say, well, the curve ends about, I don't know, right here. So if I click, hold, and drag, you're actually dragging um, opposite of where the curve actually has to happen. So the curve is up here, right? So now I'm gonna drag down and away from that, and I'm trying to match the blue line to the curve on the image. If I let go, there it is. Now that might not be good enough, right? So what you can do is, I said click where the curve ends, and I said maybe right here. But if that doesn't give you the right curve, just split the curve in half. So let's say the curve, or the midway point of the curve is here. So this will be my next um, click, hold, and drag of the mouse. So here we go. And I'm dragging down opposite of the way the curve is happening. And don't rush through this. Don't go real fast and, oh no, I don't know how this is supposed to be. Just go real slow, drag down, try to match that blue line with the edge as best you can. And maybe that's good enough for what I'm doing. Now, when you drag out, you know, click, hold, and drag, like I said, we get these two handles. There's a back handle, and if I hover over here, you can see the word handle. And there's this leading handle. If we have this leading handle, it's gonna affect my next curve. So look, if I move this pen around, um, I'm already getting a curve. And I'm already getting this like artificial curve right now because I have this handle. If you do not want that curve, all you have to do is hover in the middle of these two handles to where it says anchor and click one time. Now notice what that did. It got rid of our leading handle that affects the next curve. And now if I move this cursor around, we have a straight line. That's how I go back to a straight line. I'm just gonna hit Control Z. We can see that we have the leading handle and we see this curve happening. Now, right now, I'm just gonna try to finish out this first curve of the stem. So I, I think it's gonna end right here. I'm gonna click, hold, and drag down in a way. Try to match that up and let go. And there we go. We have this curve coming down. Then we have this next little curve. If I don't like that, I'm just gonna hit Control Z. And now another thing we can do to manipulate the next curve is I can hold Alt on my keyboard, hover over the leading handle and then click and drag this back and that's going to affect this next curve and make it less 
curvy. Now look, look at this line now. It's more straight, it's not perfectly straight. And that's exactly what I want. I don't want a huge curve to happen next, I just want a little one. So my next click and your next click should be where this curve ends. I think it ends here. I'm gonna click, hold, and drag and try to line that up and that looks a lot better. Now next, um, again, look at your handles. I have a leading handle so I know that's gonna affect this next curve. And so your next click is where you think the curve ends. So this is a slight little curve here so I'm gonna say it ends about right here. Click, hold, and drag until that lines up, and I don't have to drag too far, and then let go. And there we go, we're working our way around the stem. Take your time, it's okay, use control Z, um, and practice, you'll get it. Okay, now, um, I have another little curve here. So I don't, I don't wanna click all the way down here. If you do that, because you're trying to speed up or something, like I can try to match this up, but you'll notice like, I'm just dragging this out and it's really not matching that as well as I want it to. So I'm gonna hit Control Z, and I'm just gonna work on this little curve here. So maybe, like I say, you guys, you're clicking where the curve ends, or if you, know, if you do have a larger curve, you can chunk that and maybe you want your click, your next click to be, you know, a quarter of the way around the curve, or you want to um, make it on the midpoint of the curve. But since this curve is really little, we're just gonna click where the curve ends. So maybe the curve ends here, and then I'm gonna click, hold, and drag away from that curve. So I'm dragging to the right. The curve is happening on the left. Line that up, and then let go. And there we go, not too bad. And if I just move the cursor over, on a section like this, you can take um, take bigger sections, I guess, at certain times. So you wouldn't click here and then move it a little and click here and click here and click here. That basically defeats the purpose of the pen tool. Um, the pen tool is to help you you know, with these really curved or slightly curved edges. So maybe I wanna click way out here. Click, hold, and drag down. And you know, if you go too far, it's it's not a problem. Just slowly bring it back, try to line up that blue path with the edge, and right there we go, and let go, and that's it. Then I'm gonna move the window over here. Now we have a huge curve coming up. Now if I want to, and if you want to zoom out, and you can take big chunks of this curve. Now like I said before, um, you wanna ask yourself where does the curve end and that's where you're clicking. This curve is so big, right? This is an apple so um, you could say, well this curve goes all the way around. Well we can't do that in one go, so we're just gonna chunk this into pieces. So maybe my first curve, maybe I can get away with clicking down here. So that's where you hover the cursor, click, hold, and drag, and just line up that blue path. There we go, and let go. Now look at this, um, this rear handle's here, and we have our front handle again. And look, if you just move the cursor, that front handle is dictating what this curve looks like. So we do have a curve. So be cognizant of that. Now, if I, I can just hover my mouse and try to get this to line up before I do any clicking and dragging, it doesn't look like that's gonna work too well. So again, you're not stuck. All you have to do is hold Alt on the keyboard, hover over the front handle, and then click, hold, and drag this back a little bit. Then maybe right there is good, and I'll let go. Now look at the curve. Before I click, hold, and drag, um, the curve has been diminished, which is exactly what I want. And then maybe my next chunk of the curve I do, maybe it's down here. 
So maybe this next curve ends here. So I'll click, hold, and drag. Line that up as best as I can. And I'm just gonna keep going. Click, hold, and drag. Try to line that up. There we go. Don't be afraid to click on this middle point and get rid of that handle if you need a flat edge. Um, and don't be afraid to manipulate this handle any way you want. Hold Alt, click, hold, and drag this around. So if I want a larger uh, curve, I just pull this out. And look at that, I have a really big curve. Look at that, it almost lines up perfectly. You know, as well as don't be afraid to drag this back and get, now look at this curve, it's barely happening. So maybe I like this, try to line it up. That's not bad, and I'll click. Move the window over, and then we're just gonna try to chunk this big curve right here into two or three sections, so maybe I'll do this. Click, hold, and drag up. Line the blue path up with the edge of the object. Let go, not too bad. Again, if you make a mistake, just do Control Z. And then I'm just hovering right now, seeing if this curve will fit. It's not too bad. Maybe I'll drag this top portion out. Zoom back in. I think maybe the curve stops here. Click, hold, and drag. Let go. Now look at this front curve. It's not gonna line up, so I'm gonna hold Alt. Go to my front handle, click, hold, and drag this back. And maybe here, click, hold, and drag, get that to line up right there. There we go. Possibly this next curve, I can do all of this. Click, hold, and drag. Not bad. Zoom in on these little detail sections. Um, just looking at my curve now, that's not gonna work, so hold Alt, hover over the front handle, click, hold, and drag that back. And then always ask yourself, where does this curve end? Oh, about right here, click, hold, and drag. Match that up, click, hold, and drag just a little bit to get that movement. Maybe I can get all of this next curve in one go. So click, hold, and drag, line it up. And then to finish, you just hover over your very first anchor point, click, hold, and drag. I can still click, hold, and drag to get this to match and let go. And there you go, congratulations. And if it's not perfect, it's okay. A great tool you guys have to manipulate this path is this tool right here, the Direct Selection Tool. It says select and adjust anchor points and segments to reshape your path. Great. You know, maybe you have, let's click on it. Maybe I zoom in and I'm like, ah, I think that can be better. So what we're going to do is you're going to click once on an anchor point. So let's just take this right here. Click one. Uh, click one time and then click hold and drag and so I can drag this wherever I want and obviously it's going to manipulate the curve which is what we want maybe that's better you guys can also still manipulate every handle so if this curve wasn't perfect and I think that's perfect just let go and you can go all the way around your object and get it exactly the way you want it to look. Um, so, you know, in a way, the pen tool is very forgiving. Yes, it might be scary at first. Yes, you might be horrible at it at first, like I was. Uh, just keep using it. It is your best friend um, in Photoshop and Illustrator. Right now, I'm gonna go back to the selection tool. It has our path selected. Now maybe I do want to fill this with a red color. So I'll come over here to swatches, click on red, and there we go. 
Maybe you want a thicker stroke. Come over to the stroke panel, increase your stroke. And then obviously if you need a different color, go ahead and click on that color. Another thing is we do not have to create a solid path or a continuous path when we use the pen tool. And what I mean by that is we can just draw uh, any shape with the pen that we want. And we don't have to come all the way back up here and click on our first anchor point to make it a solid shape. I can just leave a stroke like this. If I need this shape, if I need a stroke, just stop, right? Just draw whatever you need, stop and click on your selection tool and this lives as its own object. Um, so, you know, you can color it, you can change the stroke value, all of that. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'm Gideon with Standout Creative Studio. If you got questions, if you want to see a different type of video, leave it in the comments. Uh, I'd love to read your comments. Um, and I really hope I'm, I'm just helping you guys. And I know you can do it. I'm here to encourage you. Leave a comment. Um, let me know if this was helpful, if you'd like to see uh, another video like this in the future. Thank you.